Right, it is going to be a quick video today, my friends, because I am in Great Yarmouth and it's raining. It's the festive season. It's a grey day. It's cold. It's windy. I'm parked in a car park that is £11.40 for up to three hours. It's grim. There's nobody about. Everybody else has said, don't worry, because there's no wardens around. Knowing my luck, there will be, and I'll get a ticket. Anyway, while I'm here, we're going to have some fish and chips. We're going to mark them out of 10. I don't know where we're going to go. It's going to be a very, very quick video. But I thought, do you know what? While we're here, got to have fish and chips at the seaside, haven't you? It does seem a little bit depressing, I have to say. The last time I was here, it was sunny, and it was a lot better. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Good grief, I was in Tenerife the other day, and it was warm. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Hey, Flamingo, Circus Circus, Golden Nugget, anyone would think we're in Vegas. Now I'm gonna say, there's not gonna be a lot of choice for fish and chips in Great Yarmouth at Christmas time. The only option it's looking like is Harry Ramsden's. Now, Harry Ramsden's used to be fantastic. It was originally opened, I believe, in Yorkshire, and then it went to a franchise, a little bit like Pappas's at the moment now. They've gone to franchise, and then it went downhill. Now, I haven't been to Harry Ramsden's for years. I think the last one I went to was in just in Mansfield off of Junction 29 with my mum years ago and it was absolutely terrible. So I reckon I'm going to go and give it another go because Harry Ramsden's used to be good. Anyway, let's go and mark them out of 10, have some fish and chips and then get back to the car and hopefully I haven't got a ticket and they are the most expensive fish and chips in the world. Let's go and mark them out of 10. Don't forget you're going to mark them out of 10 as well on looks and on price. I told you, this is going to be a quick video today. Come on. Right, before I go into Harry Ramsden to get my fish and chips, just got a viewer here, Jason. Yes. Come and advertise your company. What have we got there? Uh, Swift Taxis, Great Yarmouth. Swift Taxis, Great Yarmouth. Fantastic. Can you say onwards, my friends? Onwards, my friends. There we go. Right, I think what I'm going to do is get a takeaway, take it back to the car, then at least I know I'm not going to get a ticket. Hopefully I haven't got one already. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got uh, cod, regular cod, 8.59, large cod, 9.59. Uh, I'm just going to go for regular, I think, because I'm going to eat again later on. So I'm just going to get fish, chips, uh, mushy peas and the curry sauce and get it to go. Uh, and then, uh, like I say, we'll mark it out of 10. But I want to get back to the car, so come on, onwards. Right, so I've gone for the Harry Ramsden special, which is £7.99. I've got a tin of Fanta, I've had uh, mushy peas and I've had curry sauce, and that came to a total of £13.76. And he says, I should be all right in the car park because this time of year there's nobody about, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Right, got the goods here, got the fish and chips, got the curry sauce, got the mushy peas, got a bag to put them in as well, a little Harry, well, a big Harry Ramsden's bag. Gonna get the uh, salt and vinegar on here first, get some salt, we get some vinegar on, and get a little lift of fish up, we don't wanna make the fish uh, soggy. 
And then we'll get the salt on as well. Pop the salt on there. Then a little bit more vinegar on as well after. Whack it all on there. And then some more salt on top of the fish as well. Just have a look at that, my friends. Right, there you go. I'm going to bag these up, pop them in the paper bag, take them to the car. Hopefully I haven't got a ticket. Um, then we'll mark them out of ten. Wow, that is one big bag. Got my knife and fork, got my napkins, got everything I need. Salt and vinegar. So come on, onwards. Oh, uh, I didn't get my drink, sorry. No ticket, no cameras anywhere. We were lucky. Eleven pound on saved. Right, let's get in the car and mark these out of ten. Oh, it's freezing. Right, okay. I've got you rested on there, so don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll get the mushy peas out. Can't believe, I can't believe I'm eating fish and chips in my car, eh? Blimey. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop the curry sauce there, the mushy peas there. Um, I think what we'll do first. Get the fish and chips out. Now you've already seen them. They have gone a bit soggy on the bottom there, actually. I think it's because of all the salt and vinegar that I've put on them. Right, let's go in for the fish first. Um, where's the napkins? I need my napkins. Oh, my napkins are on there, that's it. The fish, always an odd shape, isn't it? Looks like something, it looks a bit rude, doesn't it, that shape? <laughs> it looks like it should be pink. Right, I think what we'll do is we're going for a chip first. Okay, cooked to order apparently. I'm a special as well, as you can see there. Got a good cook on the outside, slightly fluffy on the inner. Okay. To be fair, the chips are not too bad. Hmm. A little crispy on the outer. If I bite into one, and we do the test that I normally do. See what the fluffiness is like. Here we go, are you ready? There we go, look at that. Oh, go in now. Two minutes, two, mi two minutes, I'm leaving. Yeah, Oops. you finish your chips, mate, you'll be fine. All right, thank you yeah, very right. much. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Uh, right, you'll be fine. Thank you, have a good Christmas. Right, anyway. Thank you. Traffic warden. Um, very nice actually they let me off good grief i think i'll tell you what i got that norm i got there just in time didn't i um here we go uh fish obviously they're very nice and they never get that with a traffic warden in mansfield um there's the fish nice and white batter about a little soggy but the lid uh, has been closed on it hmm Actually, wow, that's not bad. That's a good taste. That is a really good taste. Can't believe it. I've never had a traffic warden do that before. Hmm. Right, excellent. Okay. That's not a bad fish. As I say, the batter, a little bit soggy, but... The lady actually in the fish and chip shop said to me um, she didn't want to close the lid because she said it steams them. So she knew what she was talking about. Okay, we're going to go for the mushy peas now, I reckon. Not too fluorescent. Can't see them from outer space. Not the darkest. Wow, they're piping hot. Let's go in for these uh, peas. Here we go. There we go. Go for the peas. Wow, steaming! Hmm. Not the best peas I've ever had. A little 
school light. Reminds me of my of peas that I used to have at school. But not the worst, not the best. Right, put the lid back on the peas there, okay. There we go. And then let's go in for the curry sauce, my fave. Lots of people say curry sauce doesn't belong on chips, but and fish and chips, but I actually disagree. I like it. So let's get a couple of chips in there into the curry. Nice consistency to the curry sauce, little bits in it as well. Piping hot. That's a nice curry sauce. A little bit of a kick to it, not too much. To be fair, it's a nice curry sauce. A good deal on the fish and chips there as well. Um, I'm going to pop the lid back on that curry sauce because it's. I don't want it all over my car. So I'll uh, pop the lid back on the curry sauce there. And um, I reckon I'll eat the rest of these. But the only thing is, I wish I'd not closed the lid on it. But because the batter is very soggy, but it was crispy to start with and it's still crispy in places. But to be fair... That's not a bad taste, and the chips are all right. Not as bad as I thought they were going to be. And the last lot I had at Rari Ramsden's were not as good as these. These are not the best, but they're not the worst I've ever had, to be fair. There we go. So I'll eat the rest of them, and I'll come back to you, and I'll uh, mark them out of ten. Let me give it, just give me a few minutes to figure out what I'm going to mark them. What would you mark them? Let me know in the comment section down below. Right, okay, let's get down to business while we've still got some light. Harry Ramsden's, not the best fish and chips I've ever had. But then again, not the worst, I've got to say. Um, curry sauce, nice. Peas, not so great. Uh, fish was a little soggy on the batter. However, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt with that because it was crispy to start with and it does steam it when you close the lid, like she said. So can't really moan about that and it was crispy in places. Um, and the fish tasted rather nice. Price-wise, pretty good because I got a deal on there. Uh, they did forget my Fanta Orange. Good job I remembered that. Um, so all in all, I'm going to give it a solid... Um, I'm going to give, by the, by the way, the traffic warden a solid 10 plus because he didn't give me a ticket. Excuse me. didn't give me a ticket. So that was close. That could have been the most expensive fish and chips I'd ever had. Uh, if I'd have got a ticket there, that would have been uh, extremely expensive. Um, because I think the uh, fine is over 100 quid. Um, so, all in all, fish and chips, Harry Ramsden's, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give him a six. You know, it's not bad, it's not the best, but it's sort of like just over halfway, so I think that's a fair score, to be fair. Um, so there we go, Harry Ramsden's, Great Yarmouth, I'm on my way now, thanks for watching. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, also share it on social media, on Facebook, etc. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I better go now, because I don't want to push my luck. See you later.